Good day, YouTube. How old are today? I am the Treasure Etkin, and welcome to Kamiko on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I found this on the Japanese store, uh, but it's playable in English, which is cool. So, uh, I have tested it a little bit. This is a cool little... Uh, well, it's only 500 yen, so you're talking a fiver kind of amount. Uh, so you've got three characters and they've all got different abilities you can choose from and each time you go back in you can choose them again, it's fine. So you've got a sword, a bow and arrow, and you've got a shield dagger kind of combo. You throw the shield and whatnot. Let's just do the basic starting off sword. Oh child of it. The, the translation in some places are a little bit wonky. Uh, but you know. It's, it, it's cool. It, it's a fun game anyway. That's what that's what I've got. Uh, that, that's why I got it. It looked fun, and I think it's a cool little indie game. And um, yeah. <laughs> if this goes on, thine transcendent world will become rulest by said demons. I'm trying to speak like you, the English kind of way. Uh, before you go, this is Imperial Riago. Galia, the Blade of Kusanagi. Uh, so basically, you get a cool weapon at the start. You're a Shrine Maiden, you get a sword, or a bow or whatever the hell you get, depending on the character you choose. And you've got a Vanquish Demons and whatnot on the other side. Now, there's basically only one... Um, it's just one sword, it's just one attack. And you can kill these opponents with sword. But you can sprint. I would watch. Uh, and these little diamond things are just health. All they do. Step on this button, and out. So as you see in the top left, you've got your health bar, and you've got this little bar underneath it as well. Um, I don't know what it's called. It doesn't say anywhere. Uh, but that's kind of like when you kill baddies, you get these wee orbs that come out of them. And the more combo you've got, the more things you get. As you see, um, you, know, you get quite a lot. And you use that to unlock certain things. So we've got a new enemy here, the Wasp and Bee thing. And there's little puzzles and things to solve as well. It's not just pure hack and slash. It's like up here, so I think, hmm, there's a chest over there. How do I get to this chest? I push this block. And then I stand on this button. Ha ha! Now we can get to that chest. I'm not going to do that chest just now. I'm going to go down here. And so as I say, I have played a little. And it's not as easy as it looks. You've got that health and... It's doing all of the little puzzles can be annoying. So in this first area, you need to activate these things with a hundred of your little blue orb things. So I activate this uh, Tori. And activate the Tori. And that's where you save the game as well. So just remember that. Ah. Also, when you go back into an area, all your enemies have spawned back in here. So, be careful of that. Now we're going to go up to this chest and take out these bad enemies. We're going to put another 50 into there and we're going to grab this orb. And I am going to switch this orb into here. There's another chest there, it's easy to get to. There's no secrets about that chest. But let's go down here. Killing all the baddies as we go. We're up to 20 gold. And some enemies, as you can see by that guy, this guy, they actually take a couple of hits, so not everything's one hit kills. Another hundred. To start another tour. Now, I never really heard anything about this game before. Again, I've never seen it on a, any of the Nintendo indie things. 
Um, so I wasn't really sure how this is going to play and how it's going to do, but for 500 yen, whatever, uh, five pounds, it's, it's not bad. Well, uh, you don't have to kill all the baddies every time. But, uh, it's that handy having all those orbs and not running out of them. So basically, to start off with, we're just looking for all those Tories, the shrines. I've got a new enemy, Mr. Owl. Uh, and in the 80s as well, there's also secret sort of bits that you have to pay attention to. Oh, the Owl shoots at us. I want to get rid of him fast. Now, maybe remember this chest back here. Let's grab the chest. We get a key. Now, see, when we're holding things, we can't actually. fight. And if you get hit, you drop it and hit it back again. Which is very annoying. And also, look for secrets. It's not really a secret, you need to go this way. Ow. I, I quite like this game. It's, as I say, it's a fun little indie game, but it's, you know, just, it's just something fun, slightly time-wasting, and whether or not it's got a good story is besides the point, because it's hard to tell if these things have got good stories. <laughs> a lot of the language being badly translated. So, we've got another area coming. Hey. So, let's see. Oh my god, there's a secret up here. I never knew this. There's another chest down here. Let's grab this chest. Oh, it's another blue orb. If I remember where we put the last blue orb. May as well try again. It's not containing Without getting hit. Yeah! A lot of baddies in it. A lot of baddies. Let's go through the gate. So this is just going to be a short. I'm going to try and get this whole level done, hopefully. I have failed at this level before many times whilst learning how to actually play this game. It doesn't seem that hard, but at the same time it's like, oh, I didn't know that's what I was meant to do, kind of thing. I did not see this chest before, what it's inside you. Oh, Ooh, an extra health bar, cool. I did see that chest before. <laughs> So yeah, always look at the chests. You might get something interesting and cool. Like an extra health bar. Let's get this thing opened. That's the fourth and final Tony. Ta -da! Which also means that the next level, the next level, the next level even, is unlocked. Let's do another button. Open the door. Yeah, spring helps get around faster. We're gonna ignore those enemies and we're gonna go to the light. So that's the first level of this game, which I've already forgotten its name. Kamiko, something like that. Um Yeah, I, I really enjoy this. Oh look, you get uh, wee rewards as well. We get a big pile of orb things. And we get another extra health bar. That is awesome. We've got two extra health bars now. Uh, so, why don't we just push this gate and open it up? This is a boss fight. Okay, I've not done this before. Let's see what the boss fight looks like. I, I might not. Ah! Look at switch here. Ah! Yeah, I'm going to take a wild guess. I've got to get him to not hit me. 
Okay, okay, I think I've already got this. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so, okay, I know what I have to do. And I don't even get hit here, that's even better. Uh. Has he got a health bar or no? Can't see a health bar. Oh. Okay, so his things. Oh, he gets faster. He gets faster. Ow. 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 Oh. I am. Um, oh, we killed him! Woohoo! <laughs> Excellent. Okay, that was. I figured that out quite quickly. Stage clear. <laughs> seven minutes. Seven minutes. That's a. I think that's pretty quick. That's, that's probably reasonably quick, isn't it? Seven minutes. The sunken relics. Definitely grab some health. Please. Yes, thank you. Oh, these things give you health. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, but anyway, this is one of my Nintendo shorts that I've been doing. Like, I've got the Snake Pass, we've done a bit of Isaac as well. But uh, now that we've done this wee game, uh, Cam. Kamiko. I was right, it is Kamiko. Uh, now that we've done a bit of Kamiko. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the game because I know I have and it's not too difficult to get a tame in the Japanese store and it can be played in English, which is awesome. So guys, I am the Trish Etkin signing off from Kamiko. Have fun!